If you've ever taken a high-speed rail train, you might have noticed the polished etiquette of the train attendants. But that flawless service takes a lot of work. After hundreds of hours of training, students are put through a rigorous test. Let's find out what it takes to work on the HSR. Customers are served in Mandarin, Taiwanese and English. Railway service personnel need to be confident in all three, and that's just the first hurdle. In the event of an emergency, they need to respond spontaneously to the situation. This training exercise creates a nerve-wracking simulation where adaptation is the key. But the biggest challenge is still to come. She picks up the walkie-talkie to check the intercom, then checks all the safety equipment, the first aid box, signal light and dining car necessities. In just seven minutes, she needs to check over more than 20 on-train essentials. If you miss out a single item connected to safety, then it could have an impact on the service you're giving later down the line. The hardest thing is probably when I'm pushing the trolley. You have to be very careful not to hit anything. The contents of the HSR personnel test have never been made public before. It takes candidates 368 hours in class to learn how to handle all the equipment, the service etiquette, business class etiquette and pre-journey preparation routines. And if you fail the test, you only get one chance to try again. Through the 40 or so tasks they have to complete, about 10 or 20 percent of our students have been weeded out. That is, they failed the test. Just one misstep with a trolley and that's an instant fail. The high-speed rail network prides itself on world-class customer service as well as the highest standards of safety.